In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record your session on Zoom or Google Meet, even if you're using a Chromebook. Hey dancers, welcome to Dance Tech with Jay Su, the channel where dancers become more proficient and efficient in the digital space. If you're teaching through Zoom or Google Meet and you're using a Chromebook, you've probably run into the issue of recording your sessions for students who couldn't make it to class. While the Zoom desktop app makes it really easy, the Chrome extension does not have the record feature. And you may or may not have the option to record on Google Meet depending on the plan you're on. I'm going to show you a Chrome extension called Nimbus. There's a free version which is basically useless for Chromebooks, but they have a paid version that is very affordable and easy to use that I would recommend. Also, make sure you stay till the end of this video because I'm going to show you how you can use the free version of Nimbus just fine if you have a regular laptop or desktop computer and you need to record your Google Meet session. First thing you're going to do is Google Nimbus Chrome extension and go here and then add it to your Chrome browser. Once you do that, you should see the logo up top here show up. If you don't see it, then click on the puzzle icon find the extension and just make sure you pin it so it shows up on the toolbar area. Now that we've added the Nimbus extension to our browser, I'm going to open up a Zoom call as if I was on a Chromebook. If you don't know how to do that, check out the video I made about how to get gallery view in the Zoom Chrome extension version. I'll put it in the cards up above, so I'll do that real quick. Okay, so pretend you're in your Zoom call, you're ready to teach, you're in gallery view, all that good stuff. So now you're going to go back to your Chrome browser. You're going to click on the icon and hit record screen. Make sure record mic sound is turned on and make sure you have desktop selected. Right now tab is actually grayed out. I'm not sure why, but if you selected tab, it would only record what's on that one Google Chrome tab, which you don't want because that wouldn't record your Zoom call or your Google Meet. So desktop and you're going to start record. I have more than one screen, so I'm going to select, let's say, the main screen here. Share audio. If you select this, it will actually record your computer sound. So if you are playing music from your computer, it will actually pick it up, so it might make your uh, recording sound better. I would want You would want to make sure you play with that, though. Um, I have also had in instances where I've had this option before on my computer for, like, StreamYard, and my friend's computer that's a Mac does not have this option, so I don't know if you will always see this option, so just a heads up. If you have it, great, know that you can record your computer sound. If not, sorry. But I'm also kind of assuming if you are using a Chromebook that you are playing music from an external speaker. I can hide this. And now I can go back to my Zoom call, and I can maximize it, I can teach, all that good stuff. Now just to show you, if I were using Spotify and I was sharing my sound, on Google Meet, actually there is a way to do this, on uh, Zoom, you can't, sorry. But just to show you, if I were to play this, you'll hear it in the recording. I'll turn it up a little bit. And I can count, teach, all that. All right, so let me show you what that looks like once we're done recording. Uh, but pretend your session is done. Now you're gonna go up here stop recording you could also pause it whenever you wanted i can hide this and it will take you to this screen here now this is where your uh free version and pro version you see the differences everything i did up until this point you can do whether it's free or pro if it's the free version all you're able to do is download the file now if you are using a regular laptop or a desktop computer that's totally fine the downside, the reason this doesn't work with Chromebooks is, well, A, you can't download the file onto your computer, but also it's a WebM file, so you have to convert it after you're done. So just to show you, I can go here, save screencast, I can hide this, and now I can go back to my, and now you'll see here, it's a WebM file, so we'll come back to that in a moment. Now, on the pro version, I can convert it to an MP4 file, which is great. I can also upload it directly to Google Drive for my students. So watch, I can go here. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. 
All right, that's done. And now I can actually even edit it. So say I wanted to only show the last part where I'm going over choreography. There's a lot of talking, messing around, whatever. The students don't have to see that again. So I can go to trim. I can select the first half and I can, you know, double check to make sure it's the part that I want. So let's say maybe it's here and then remove selected. And it gets rid of that. So now I play. And I can count, teach. And so you can hear my music got recorded from the computer. Also, you can crop it. So say you were in speaker view, but your students, are, you can still see them up top. You could go crop and then only show this part and then hit OK. I'm going to hit done. And now here's our final version. And now I'm going to go to Google Drive and I already connected it. So now it's uploading. And it's there just to show you there it is right there now a fun feature that may or may not be useful at all of your recordings get saved to their nimbus note cloud server so you could also go here my uploads and now so if you ever needed to you could download it again open a new tab rename it delete it but you can also share it. So if you click share, I can protect it with a password or make it public. Let's say just letter A, just to keep it simple. If I copy the link, let's go a new window. And now your students could see it like this. It's on a protected server, well, on a protected server, but it's protected with a password. So your students could just click on the link you send them and watch the video. Now I will say one thing I don't like is with their passwords, um, oh, and they can't download it off here. They can only stream it. Um, now one thing I don't like is with the password situation, you can't see it and it's not even saved. So I could have typed in something and I messed up one letter and my students then maybe don't know and they keep trying unsuccessfully and it gets really frustrating. I had a couple times when I was testing this over and over again to make sure it worked um, where it said wrong password and I had to go back here, change password. And so with this, I was to just make sure it's a simple password. Make sure you really type it in correctly. Double check it yourself before you send it to your students. But other than that, it's a cool feature. I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing with storage, it depends on the plan you buy and all of that. But this is a cool option to know about. However, if you're already using Google Drive, Dropbox, things like that, I would recommend probably just going with that. So that is how you would use Nimbus to record your class if you're on a Chromebook. Now, if you don't want to pay for it, if you can download the footage, we can convert it really easily with a free program called Handbrake. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna go find Handbrake. And this is the logo, it's a pineapple and cocktail. You're gonna go here and then you're gonna download it. I already did that, but just follow the instructions. You'll be good to go. Now you're gonna go find it once you've done that. Open it back up. Or not back up, just open it up. And now you're gonna find the WebM file. So for me, it's in my downloads. Here, I'm gonna just drag it over. And I'll see here, it says format MP4. That's what we want. I'm gonna go browse. You can tell it where to save, what to call it. Make sure it's MP4. If it doesn't say that, just click here to um, change it. Oh, make sure it's not MKV. And then all you need to do is hit start encoder. And I'm gonna speed this up. And you're done. So now if I go to my downloads, here it is. And now I can upload to Google Drive or wherever I need to. So that is basically it, everyone. I didn't go super in depth with Nimbus. I'm sure there are a lot of other cool features that it can do, especially if you pay for it. But my goal really was just to show you a way to record your Zoom or Google Meet calls uh, if you weren't able to use like the Zoom desktop app. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it helps you when you're teaching. Now remember, if you're worried about uh, showing students' faces, make sure you're uh, pinning or spotlighting yourself. And what's nice is you have that 
prop option if you pay for the Pro Nimbus uh, subscription. So say it's in uh, speaker view, but you still see all of your students up top, you could crop it to only show you in theory, right? And then you can upload it. So there are ways to get around that, but just be mindful of when you're recording, making sure you have things framed up the way you want before you hit record. That's the easiest way to save you time. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I will see you next time. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you found it helpful. If you need more help with using Zoom on a Chromebook, make sure you check out my video on how to get gallery view on a Chromebook, which will be on the end card in a moment. I'm also working on a breakdown of all the important things you need to know about using Google Meet for dance classes, including how to get emojis, breakout rooms, sharing computer sound, so stay tuned for that. I wanna make sure I find the best solutions for you all, so it might take a few more weeks. In the meantime, make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button so you know when new videos come out, and I'll see you next time. Five, six, seven, eight.